Hello, I'm Inko Biagi, and today I'm going to be vlogging. I'm very, very good at things like this, and I never feel awkward just talking to myself, especially in public, worrying that people are going to come and watch me. Yes. So today is September 15th, and I'm really excited to be vlogging because, I don't know, I just feel like I want to talk about life, and it's exciting and fun, and currently I am sitting in the parking lot of my school, baking in this car. It's very, very hot. Yeah. I'm really excited because this is the fourth year I'm going to be running the Writers' Society at my school. So I go to a very small school, there's about a hundred students, and yeah, so I don't have the normal college experience. It's very close-knit and wonderful and community is awesome, but clubs don't always get picked up, especially when not everyone's interested in them. But I really enjoy writing, and so far people have come out and supported me for the first few weeks, and then it's like me mostly for the rest of the year slash the club just kind of dies slowly and I'm like please come and then I just beg and drag people to my club. I'm that kind of person. But th this meeting is supposedly going to have five people at it and I'm really excited <laughs> because I love talking about writing and reading. Hi! So it's later on on the 15th and I have some really exciting news because my birthday present from my roommate Angie, she just gave it to me and it is absolutely amazing. And this describes me more than like anything else. And it says, one does not stop buying books because there is no more shelf space. That is me. My other roommate who often makes fun of me for my obsession with books was like, and that's even how you would say it. And then she did it in a British accent and was like, that's how you talk. That is like one of my first bookish things I have in my entire life. And it makes me so incredibly happy. Writing club was amazing. There was seven people and later eight. since it is now the 17th and I haven't done an update on the books I've read or have been reading for a while so I'm currently reading like 21 books and I'm reading a lot of physical books rather than audiobooks because I didn't have internet for 15 days. You're not a country Africa. I started this during the POC-a-thon. It is a very dense book. Like this is some of my pages that just have a lot a lot of writing on them. And then at the e end of each chapter I'm going through and writing my thoughts and discussions on it. I just I halted a little bit at the beginning of school just because I've been working really busy weeks. I've been working every day for the last few weeks so I haven't really picked it up as much because <laughs> I'm exhausted. And another one that I've been reading for a little bit but I'm enjoying very much is Anne of Avonlea. I finished the first one of the series in August again. But this is the second book in the series. I'm like nearly done. I think I pulled out the bookmark. <laughs> I don't use real book lyrics. I just kind of use random things and this one got pulled out because I carried it on my purse. It is the book I actually enjoyed the least of the series when I read it the first time because I was only 11, but now that I'm a little bit older, it definitely has a lot of themes of ideals and your morals and how those interact with reality and it's really interesting. It is something that at my age I'm encountering a lot more than I did at 11 where you have all these grand ideas and it's not actually what happens with your life and how do you make those opportunities and Ellen Montgomery is just an amazing writer. Also her quiet mythology I'm naming it is so interesting. The way that she morphs mythology into like 1890s, 1880s society in rural Canada is incredible. Catwoman by Sarah J Mass. I haven't read a lot of this. I think it's like 19 pages in three weeks, so that's really sad. I am giving Sarah J. Mance a second chance because I love DC and I've loved both Wonder Woman and Batman, so now I'm giving this one a chance and the writing style is killing me, but I think I am going to power through it and read the plot because I want to read the whole series. Driving by Starlight. This is just one that I picked up. It's by Annette Deracin. It's actually a pseudonym, in, but she was raised in Saudi Arabia, and this is a story about two best friends who were raised in Saudi Arabia. One is the son of a minister, like a cabinet minister, not a um, pastoral minister. I thought I was like, I don't think that's a Muslim term, but maybe they're using like an anglified version of it, but no. It's really interesting. It kind of makes me cry in some places, but the friendship is so real and tangible that you can just feel it on the page love reading fictional books that have a lot of truth in it because I feel it's a good way to get educated about 
a society. Of course, it's not always going to be perfect, but when it's an own voice as novel, you can definitely see the realism in it. I'm still reading through the poetry of Langston Hughes. I'm not sure if I'm going to complete it because it is a whole very large book. I finished two audiobooks in the last few days. I just finished Ace of Shades, which is incredible. Like, I thought it was just probably like overhyped a little bit, but the writing is so beautiful and lyrical. It's one of those books that I really hope I'm going to go back and read physically because I just think it's very interesting and I want to understand the world better because I feel like when I was listening to an audiobook I maybe didn't capture all of that. And I'm almost done Ian Fleming's Casino Royale, which is the first James Bond book. And I'm kind of disappointed. I have like 15 minutes left at this point. And the mystery and whatever, okay. The last like two and a half hours has just been about his love life, but like a weird love life. Like, he's like, yes, I was going to marry this woman. But also his torture in the book is just the man like repeatedly trying to hack off his penis, I think. Like, I think that's what's happening. It's, it's said in like very delicate language. It's like, you're not going to be a man by the end of this. And I was like, oh, okay. It's like, yes, decided that I want to sleep with her because then I will know if my repairs have been done right. It was like such weirdly worded. I don't think it's a series that I'm going to continue. I'm pretty sure I watched a few James Bonds when I was a kid because my dad really loves it, but I haven't watched it in recollection. So maybe I'm just not a James Bonds fan. So it's disappointing. I am going to start The Lightning Thief real soon. It is a book that I am going to um, binge because I am part of Demigods Anonymous. It's one of my favorite books. It's just, I'm trying to finish like some of the books that I have or the books that are from the library and I'm just not seating very well, but I know it's a book that I can read in like a day. Thank you so much for watching this video and joining me this week and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful time and happy reading and writing. Bye!